guys, welcome ah. to another episode of Being Cold in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> we spent the last two nights in Nueva Vizcaya in this beautiful park. You can watch that in the previous vlogs. But today we are continuing to our original plan, which is Banaue. We just stopped a little because it's not just us who is cold, but little big self. Come, baby, come. She's already wearing her little hoodie. <laughs> but going to add another layer just in case. Only for top. <laughs> it's also a little bit I'm scary to drive through these mountain roads already because it's quite narrow. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a lot of trucks, so a lot of cars are overtaking in front of us even though we are there, so we have to go to the shoulders many, yeah. many times or we will cross. Yeah, it's like a very curvy mountain road yeah, and the, the cars don't really care that we are on, Yeah, because on we are way. just a small scooter so we are getting pushed off the road and there were a bus that suddenly stopped in the middle of the road so yeah a lot of slow trucks like this of course they have hard time climbing the mountains so they are going very slowly everyone is overtaking so Jonathan so far is doing a really good job just we are taking it slow and be, being very careful because <laughs> It's a bit scary. Anyways, it's already beautiful. I'm sure as soon as we will enter Ifugao and gonna be approaching Banawa, it will just get even more beautiful. We are somewhere halfway. We are in Bagabag and we are just trying to find something that we need like butane for cooking and water refill but no success. It's just some small eateries here and sari saris at the water refill station which is closed. Well, hopefully we will still be able to go through some town proper and find the things we need but the more we go the more mountainy and isolated the place is so we will see. <laughs> yes! Water refill! This is one of my favorite bottles because it's like a, how do you call it, like a soft flask. So when it's full, then it's full, and when it's empty, it doesn't take up any space. It's so nice. And this is the trendy lightweight bottle of 2022. <laughs> and also this year it seems. <laughs> I didn't see any marker. Me too. I was waiting for like a big marker or anything, but turns out we are already in Ifugao. We've never been in this province before. One more province. Checked on the list. Before it's made from bamboo shoot, it's good. 
It smells so good that I wanted to try it. It smells like a like a chips, like a barbecue chips. That I don't know. Mm. What's the name of this for? Uh, it's uh, adobo bambushu. Adobo. Oh. Adobong Labong. Adobong Labong. This tastes so good. Everything looks so good. I cleared out my plate. It was this good. I made sure everything is eaten, every single last piece. When Pixel is enjoying the Nilaga soup down there. <laughs> is it visible? There's a kiat kiat tree. Never seen a kiat kiat tree. Wow. Wow. That's cool. I've seen like tropical fruits, of course, like banana and coconut and those like more common um, tropical fruit grown tree, but kiat kiat. I think it only grows like up in the mountains in colder areas. Probably. Wow. Kiat kiat tree. Okay, we can go Bamon, now. Vamonos. Vamonos. Everybody. Everybody, let's go. even go faster because my hands are freezing and my nose <laughs> no one prepared me for this <laughs> guys we made it i mean technically not yet but wait a second there now we made it oh yes this is appropriate clothing to sell here. I saw um, a woman wearing like a full-on puffy winter jacket on the way here and I was so jealous. Guys, there are so many cool pasalobong. A lot of wood carvings, statues, and also a lot of... It's like the, the igorot. Yes. Igor oh. Native igorot attire. Oh, this is so pretty. Do what they are doing. <laughs> One, two, three. Opa. Opa. Okay, it's good. Guys, we are here, but I don't exactly know where it's. One of the rice terraces is just random view along the side. We are trying to find an accommodation for the night, which is a bit more difficult than what we thought. <laughs> but just, just look at this. It's already so nice. We are up in the clouds with some locals. It's already so cool vibes and so peaceful. It's so nice. What? There's something. Oh yeah. Guys, there are so many viewpoints. We are just riding up and just stopping at every two seconds because one, two, three, boom. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's the most beautiful view ever. And yeah, like Jonathan pointed it out, there's a tiny, tiny, How's that? <laughs> this is a really cool viewpoint. You can see so many rice terraces and a lot of them are even green and then there's a little waterfall then just the rice and then over there you can see the village there's a very small waterfall oh yes 
you can even see the tip of the mountain. Yeah, it actually adds extra coolness to it that the clouds are covering the top. Now that we are under the clouds, it's a bit less cold, so I'm happier. <laughs> Why this place is really special, guys, besides that it's like extremely beautiful, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage. Not just this one, but like in overall in the area, there are multiple um, rice terraces and they are all part of the World Heritage. The most um, famous one is in Batad, which is like one hour ride from here, but just everywhere. These are already so beautiful and part of um, this whole area which is really special because they are over 2000 years old like just try to imagine that <laughs> that these were carved on the side of the mountains like 2000 years ago when the people didn't even have like modern tools yet the ancient people who made these um, rice terraces to farm the rice I I can't even imagine how they did it. You know what else? This is your Thanos retard. Tattoo. <laughs> Marvel and Avengers fans will know what we are talking about. He retired doing butter in the main <laughs> rice terraces, yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, since this place is really famous, a lot of um, not just local but international tourists come here to visit. It was also used the place in Infinity War, which is one of the biggest like Marvel movies ever. This was shown us an alien planet where Thanos, <laughs> the villain, retired, so that's extra level of coolness. <laughs> 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 we arrived guys look pine tree <laughs> so when you enter um, Banawe everyone who is not from the area have to register they won't really stop you we just stopped like nice tourists <laughs> because I read that you need to register and it's 50 peso per person um, at the tourism registration um, we were asking if there's campsites they said they don't really know I even when uh, we were still at home I was googling if there are um, tent pitching spots and I didn't really find anything but there is this Banawe ethnic village and pine forest resort it's a private resort and we asked and they said it's allowed to pitch the tent is 250 peso per head it's going to be the coldest night we've ever had <laughs> we are exploring the area because we could just set up the tent um right at the entrance but there's a pool area not like we want to swim but <laughs> there is this pool area and like a cute path leading down here so we will see where we want to set up go little bunny <laughs> it's a nice and peaceful place though and very pretty and we are still in the clouds <laughs> getting dark guys so we need to set up our tent and then I think we will pass out <laughs> we need to get cozy in the hopefully warmer tent than the outside <laughs> we will try to wake up early tomorrow and continue on the road to maybe to one of our main um, destinations why we wanted to start this trip in the first place so we need to get some rest <laughs> I guess this nice foggy spot is going to be our home for tonight. Our favorite part. <laughs> the best part. <laughs> No matter how funny it sounds, this is why we need the air mattress. The ground is freezing, super cold. Frozen <laughs> ground. Oh, still wearing hoodie and leggings and gonna go into the sleeping bag like this. <laughs> Little bunny is already snoring. 
going to be our coldest night ever. I know it's cold in Hungary too, but in Hungary when it's this temperature, we are turning on the fireplace and the heating system, which doesn't exist here. So, coldest night, new day tomorrow. So, <laughs> good night guys, thank you for watching and we will see you next time in the next vlog, hopefully with less nagging about the cold.